Here we're going to look at some further reactions of chlorine. The first one is the reaction of chlorine with water. When chlorine reacts with water, we get an equilibrium mixture set up. Where we get HCl and HClO. Now, we've got here hydrochloric acid. We've got something here called chloric one acid. And the one is to show that the oxidation state of the chlorine is one. There are other chloric acids as well where the oxidation state is slightly different. Now, because we've got solutions of the hydrochloric acid and the chloric one acid, this is often sometimes written as uh, ions. So we've got, in effect, two hydrogen ions from the two hydrogens there. So we've got two hydrogen ions in solution. We've got the chloride ion in solution. And we've also got this. We call this now chlorate one ion. This is called chlorate one. So either equation where you can either write an equation showing these products or these products. So just be aware you could be... Um, shown a mask in where either of those are given. Now, this reaction is, is a special sort of redox reaction because what we've got is the chlorine here, oxidation state is zero. But one of these chlorines, the oxidation state has gone down, so the chlorine's been reduced to HCl. But in the other products, the oxidation of chlorine has gone up by one. So the chlorine has been simultaneously oxidised and reduced. And this is called a, a disproportionation reaction. So a disproportionation reaction when a species is simultaneously oxidised and reduced. So it's the chlorine in this case. The Cl2 is simultaneously oxidised and reduced. Now, the uses of chlorine is it's added to water supplies, drinking water supplies. And it's also added to swimming pools. The reason for that is it kills bacteria. Now I've got to be very careful when adding chlorine because chlorine is also toxic to humans. So we've got to add just enough to it kills all the bacteria, but not so much so it causes any damage to, to us. So there are risks associated risks with using chlorine in adding it to swimming pools or water supply. However, the health benefits outweigh the risks. So even though it is toxic to humans, the health benefits we get by adding it to the water, killing the bacteria, outweigh any risks associated. There is another reaction of chlorine and water that we do need to be aware of, and this occurs in the presence of sunlight. And it's just one that you need to remember. And you can see, hopefully, from this, it's not a disproportionation this time.
Now what we've got here is we've got the chlorine oxidation state zero and all the chlorines now are oxidation state minus one. So the chlorine now has been reduced. The chlorine is acting as an oxidizing agent. And here we've got the oxygen at minus two oxidation state and now it's increased to zero. So the water is oxidized to oxygen. There's one more reaction we're going to have a look at. That's the reaction of chlorine with sodium hydroxide. And this is a very similar reaction to the reaction of chlorine with water, as we'll see. So chlorine reacts with two lots of sodium hydroxide and we get three products this time. One is sodium chloride, the other is sodium chlorate one and the other is water. So we need to be aware that that is sodium chlorate one and that is um, a bleach. This is used in bleach usually under the name sodium hypochlorite, but which is the same thing as sodium chlorate one. Now, we often see that equation written as an ionic equation. The sodium ions are spectator ions. I've got two sodium ions in solution in my reactants, and I've got two sodium ions in solution as my products. So we can remove those from the equation, and that will give us the ionic equation as follows. So I've got um, Cl2 now plus two hydroxide ions and now we get similar pro similar products what we've got with chlorine and water we've got our chloride ion our chlorate one but the difference now is we've now got this additional product of water um, this again is a disproportionation reaction same as the reaction of chlorine and water we've got chlorine at oxidation at zero it's been reduced to minus one in chloride ions but the chlorine has been oxidized to plus one in chlorate one ions and they are the further reactions of chlorine